Hello and welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm the Emperor and this is Crusader Kings 3 in the Iranian Intermezzo. So let's just keep going. This is a stream right now. So if you're watching over on the YouTubes, come check out Twitch at some point as well. Leave a follow. Let the little notification thing go so you can join us on the stream days where we actually stream some Crusader Kings 3. Because if you're new to the game, if you're learning it, we're teaching it, talking about everything. And right now we are kind of learning ourselves, honestly, how to run a clan government. And I think I'm getting a little bit of the hang here. So what we've done recently is we set us up for demanding some payments. Sadly, our leader is a little bit... he's generous, so this is hurting him. And it hurts our clan... Our clan unity, which we don't want to hurt. We recently took Baghdad, so we want to be sure to hold that, but we also need money to build this thing up into the powerhouse of a region we want to have it to be. So let's check our succession. What are we going to lose? And they, well, We're going to lose a bunch of things here. And we're not going to build up any of the things that we're going to lose, of course. So that's basically how it is. So what we need is we need to build some new holdings here. So we don't lose those later. And uh, luckily in Baghdad we have, a, or rather in the in the in the county of Baghdad we have a bunch of slots for new holdings. So we can build ourselves some new castles. And I think we will do just that with some of the money we have gotten there. Okay, so. Now what we have is we're looking at some scheming happening down here in the Abbasid court. So now we know this. We should be able to demand payment from this guy. I'm wanting to be able to demand payment from people that won't lower our house unity, basically. That's why I sent our spy down there. So... Uh, it, it looks like... We are not that lucky, really. Maybe we have to blackmail some people first. Okay, let's check our intrigue. Hooks and secrets. And let's see. So this guy here. Can't blackmail him. Can blackmail him. Let's go blackmail some people. So we get the hooks, so we can then demand payment. I think that's how it works. Should should work like that. Demand payment. Doesn't have enough gold. <laughs> we'll just we'll just keep going and blackmail some people here. There's a strong hook on us for another eleven years, really. So that's a problem potentially down the road, just waiting to happen, but that's okay. Roll court. We got a gallant Azwar. Let's see. My Azwar Sartosht has excelled during our recent battles and my court is buzzing with the excitement. What an accomplished Azwar. What a role model. What a man. With all the praise raining down on him, it is made clear that I am expected to officially reward him in some manner. He's the new lord of the Valley of Bidbadarayim. Is that one of mine? I think it is one of mine. I oh, know it's. Uh, yeah, that's me. He will be gifted gold for his golden achievements. Oh, this loses us a lot of uh, stress. And it gives us court grandia. Let's go with that option. He gets money. And we will go and get that money back from someone else. Let's go in our hooks and secrets thing here and see if... Nope. No gold for us. No gold for us. No gold for us. Because we don't have, have an available hook there. Mm -mm -mm. So we can only get money from our family here. Let's check our unity, honestly. Let's check our unity. Uh, we're in the wrong thing for that. Masha keeps fickle. We could make her arrogant instead. Oh, I don't care enough. Stay fickle then. Okay, we're, we're, we're bumping around here a little bit. So it's 
It's hurting us somewhat to do all this. Got a new perk. War Profiteer. Monthly income during... Muscle tax contribution. We're just gonna go with that. And I think we are allowed to switch back soon, aren't we? Not quite yet. When can I switch back? Why can't I see when I can switch back? It should be locked. Somewhere it should tell me when I can switch around again. Oh, well, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. And if it isn't, it will be fine. Said continues. Oh, they must have gotten lost on the way home. Spies digging for secrets have been plaguing my court and imagine surprise that they are in your employ. Oh, they must have gotten lost. We spend some prestige. I know nothing else. Any spies? Alamutas. I don't know anything. I mean, already dislikes it. Okay, let's have a quick little gander at what we could take around here. So these guys. Why is this... Ah, yeah. Current struggle phase. We can't do nothing. But we could holy war here. And I think these guys are pretty much alone. And whatever they are. Yeah, they are. Very much alone. So we can Holy War this one. That's perfectly fine. Ah, but we have a truce. So we... Actually, we can't. It's not perfectly fine. Dagnabbit. We can de jour seize. And we can de jour seize all this. Which we had before and we lost it again. I still don't quite know how that happened. And this is another truce we would be breaking. <laughs> Come on, there must be someone here we don't have a truce and no locking agreements with. A very good holy war for Dutchie. That is perfect. Imami rulers might join, but there is none. So we can holy war this one down perfectly fine. We have enough gold, we have enough everything, we have enough troops. So this is what we're going to do during this time of stability. Let's go raise all here and we'll call in someone with a little bit of troops. 75. I will call 2000. All the power we can call, we'll call. I'd rather be safer than sorry. So our troops are gathering. And this here will be our very first target. Unless we can find the enemy in the field. And can I lead personally? Yes, I can. I'm not the best leader I could be. Okay, they are going for Baghdad, maybe. I don't like that. I don't like where you're going. I don't like this. Where are you going? There. Okay, it's an equal fight. I'm not quite sure it is at the end of the day. Would be lovely if we can catch him in our own lands. So this is fairly obvious. Oh, we killed him. I think we killed one of the... Yep. We killed his commander. That is deeply unfortunate for him. So now we can go and attack here. Yes, yes, please. Valley Rostam. Thank you so much for visiting my court. I appreciate it. Oh. We are being attacked. And we're going to call all our allies into that one. The... Which one? Alanian Conquest of Hayek. Yeah. That's the one. I want to call in everyone. And we need to check if we can't get another alliance somewhere going. With one of our kids. 
I mean, we have enough children. There should be something in here. Problem is, most of these were betrothed a while ago. So I don't think we have anyone left. Is any one of our women pregnant? Is there a new alliance in the oven somewhere? I don't think so. So we're a little bit at the worst end of this. Let's organize our troops. Let's give away that thing that we're... That's putting us above our domain limit. Let's see which bit we should take away. But I think everything we own is now here. So we're going to give away, I don't know, the weakest one, Karbala. So we're going to go ahead and grant this to someone. We're going to try and get this to our nephew. Oh, nephew. Good evening, Asukatana. Welcome. Let me bring up Twitch chat there or there. How are you doing? Everything fine? So we're gonna throw in one of our... We're gonna throw in one of our... What, what are we gonna throw in? Yeah, the nephew, why not? He has some claims here, which... Might be good, might be bad. <laughs> I'm not sure. But we for sure need to get rid of that so we lose all those negative modifiers. And I think we're gonna get ourselves some mercenaries early on. These are hired by us, and we have eight months left of these. So that costs us 251 to renew. Extend. I mean, we're going to extend them immediately, because we will need them. So, that's not a question. I wonder, wh where are we being attacked from, from the north? Okay, so that's a Khazar vassal that's coming for this thing up there so we will have to turn around ideally we can take a siege maybe another battle or something and then we have time to go and defend in the north and there we only need a white piece we don't need to win actually that might be a little bit difficult okay enemies are joining the war which war not this war okay Amirat of Azerbaijan. Okay, we are being completely attacked in the north. And they are they are coming for blood here. Nothing happened to our empire just now, except that the that the horse lords have decided that it's time to take me apart. That's what happened. We're trying to push a little bit in the south, you know. Just get a nice little plum bit. And then the horse lords were like, ah, you know what? Let's take some chunks out of here. So now we have to go north. North, north, north. Really, literally have no choice. We have to go. And there is a little army sitting around. There are several armies sitting around. And these are all just... These are all just enemy armies. These are not... These are hostile. These are not our actual enemies. This is this is uh, infuriating. So we might lose this one. I don't think we can muster enough troops and time to get that done. We might defend here, but I don't think we can actually go anywhere else. Okay, let's get the outline done. Yeah, so they can resiege this in peace. We we cannot split our troops right now. All we need is white piece here. But I don't think we can get this done. Like, they have too, too many troops. But how is this 5,000? Yeah, that's 5,000. <laughs> so the problem here is we have far fewer troops. And they have reinforcements, which we don't have. Hopefully... What little of... Ah, now we're losing this one. Oh god, we're so dead. We are so dead. Oh, 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 our allies turned it around, I think. Yeah, <laughs> very last second. Very last second. Oh, that would have been bad for us. Okay, instant white piece out of this one. I don't even care. Yes, would be nice. 
to get all that we can out of that, but white piece, no matter. Should we put this guy in? I don't think he's actually better than me. This guy is a foreign ruler. Forest advantage doesn't matter. No white. Eh. Ah, now we're definitely using this one. Where are our allies? Some of our allies are getting beaten down in the south. It's great. We might just have to concede this. Like, look at what's coming for us. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, sir. Well, we can try and take that back eventually, but I don't think we have any any shot at defending this. So we're just going to go surrender. It's nothing we can do. Goodbye, hike. I mean, I have good relations with him. That doesn't mean that his vassals are going to have good relations with us, so. Alright, one of our rivals dies, so now we, can, we go south and try and take care of this issue here. That war that we started. And that we are currently, you know, struggling to maintain and get over with. At least financially we're stable. That's always nice to have. I will make an example out of him. Caliphal concerns. We have heard about imamis who practice bizarre rituals. Some even speak of ritual of a carnal nature. Enough is enough. The caliph wants you to deal with these miscreants. Gross prosecution. For 10 years. Or oh, for 30 years. Oh god. Control growth minus 30%. <sighs> Okay, we can send our boys who get a little bit of a health problem. 75% uh, something good happens. Okay, let's go with this. This is the least horrible option here. I can send this guy. Yeah, 77% chance. You're absolutely right. We're going to take that one. And it did work out. So we got the least worst option. But this here is a problem. We are too weak to face them. This is going to be a continual issue. And why are our troops so low? What is this? We're really not getting any levy reinforcements. And where are all of our allies? Alright. So, let's check our... Hooks and secrets again. There's a lot of blackmail to be done. Can't blackmail you. Okay, I can only blackmail one person at a time. That sounds very inefficient. I feel like I should blackmail everyone all the time and all the times immediately. Problem is none of these have money. So... A betrothed means a new alliance, but that's an internal alliance that doesn't help us right now. Only lucky thing is that our enemy in the south is actually quite a bit weaker than us. Yeah, we have no we have no way of making more alliances. It's uh, we are we are stuck. All of our children are already betrothed or something. There's nothing we can do. So, uh, just got to fight, just got to win. Just got to be better than everyone. I would love to switch over my lifestyle focus. Oh, finally we can. Okay, okay, very good. We're gonna go for Marshall again. Let's switch this over. We got what we wanted out of the stewardship focus. So now we are uh, quite more capable than the enemy. Again, not that it matters, but it's nice. We could get used to this. We are named the Generous. Gains us some prestige and some opinion of some people. Very good. Thank you for your support there. I think we need more s uh, more spears. Who is our culture head? We are. We are our culture head. Let's go do some sieging. Bailey constructed in Baghdad. Lovely. We can't actually build anything else right now. Money is tight. We are a culture. Head. 
And the innovations are still like they were before. So we're working on Gavelkind here to get the domain limit up. So in six years, we got that going. So our ally is getting slaughtered down there by something he is at war with. I don't think we have a single ally in the field right now. They, they all promised to come, but I don't think anyone is here. I don't think anyone is here. Okay, let's finish some sieges. We have to... We can go fight them some more as well, but... We need those sieges. Come on, finish up. Very good. So now we can go fight them again. We got a whole two gold out of that because we already sieged that before. It's not very profitable to do that over and over again. Can core more allies, but they're all very weak. Do we have something that doesn't cost us house unity yet? Because we have all of these, except they are really bad for us because they cost us house unity. I see. I blackmailed a bunch of people, but none of these have money. <laughs> ah, it's infuriating. It's also infuriating that sometimes you just have to click in there. So, hey, let's see. We're gonna we're gonna only blackmail the people that have money. How about that? This guy, he has money. This one we can demand payment of, can't we? Demand payment. Uh, Fifteen gold for thirty-seven stress now. I could recruit them to court, but why would I? I can't. Anyway, these are rulers. I could recruit her to court, but what for? She's 52. She's she's not she's not really useful. This one is already at court. Yeah, but a 52 year old doesn't help us in court. Could give her a husband that could help us, but that's that's a lot of steps there. For very little payoff. Oh, very good. Our alliances are also now expiring, but I think those were internal. It doesn't matter much. Okay, we need a new marshal. And actually, our son and vassal and strong boy is very good at it. So let's just have him take the seat. And now we can go finish up those sieges here. So what do we need to take? This. Take the capital. Yes, we're working towards taking the capital. But first we... Uh, oh, actually we, we are bordering that. Yeah, you're right. So I was thinking I, I take this first so I can go in there. Oh, wait, look at that. No, 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 no. Here we lose people because we do not have a direct border to this barony. That's why I wanted to take this stuff first, but that might not even have helped. That doesn't matter. We can lose a few. We can lose a few people. I know it's the entire duchy. I see that. But I want to build my way out and not lose people pointlessly to attrition. That's what I'm trying to avoid here, Ahsoka. It's what I'm trying to avoid. Keep trying to teach you people this. Alright, so counter sieging, but our siege should be quicker. What are we looking not we're not looking too hot. Only saving grace is that we have so many very good troops here. Why is everyone unstationed? Oh right, because we switched around. Hey, we might win instantly. I absolutely agree, but sometimes I like to take my time there. A new Caliph. Very good. Why does he like us so much? That's great. So that didn't work out too much. We didn't get anything good. And now we have to lose more people just by walking around. So I don't recommend this, honestly. Yes, it's it, it can immediately end the war, which is very lovely. You do want that, but um, the price sometimes might be a little bit too high. And... Yeah, we're not reaching this before it's over, so. I'm not sure if it was worth it. Not sure if it was worth it. 
I lost 200 soldiers just by walking. <laughs> you try and want to avoid that. And since we're already full up on the war score for the battles, that doesn't help us either. So we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Eventually we might have to just become a vassal here. So the Abbasid Empire is what stands above us against Khazaria. Or we just become a vassal of Khazaria, you know. But I'm not defeated yet. So I'm not running to this again. And forget about this. The Khan is, of course, the best person there. So we're just gonna siege like I planned we're gonna siege. Yeah, we have 100% with the Khan. Okay, so let's let's check. If we if we hold down CTRL and then click on a neighboring country or any country, really, you can see the lower rank holders here. So we need to make good with this guy and this guy. With this guy, we currently have a truce. But everyone who has a border to us, we need to talk to. <laughs> this guy, I'm not too worried about. Like, he has 370, even with his allies here. He's not super weak, but he's also not great. This guy is a problem. So instead, we're going to go start swaying this guy. So he likes us and he doesn't come up with the idea of attacking us again. So the Iranian Intermezzo, we are looking at another unrest phase starting soon. Again, I'm not moving to stop this. Honored by the faithful. Character's name is read during the Friday prayer. In the very seat of the leader of the faith, earning them significant legitimacy as a ruler. Diplomacy per level of devotion plus one. That is crazy. Our level of devotion is pretty high. I think it's fourth? Four out of fifth? Four out of five? Ah, it's an honor. Amir e Amiran Shervin of Bavan Deed. You have become great among men, and your deeds and your house are respected, honored by all. Caliph Abdullah's envoy Kamran poses solemnly. This was the words of the Caliph. He then declares, and he has decided to bestow upon you a great honor. Your name will be read during Friday prayer in Takrit itself. All the Caliph asks in return is that you do not forget this benevolence in granting you this boon. I will absolutely go with this. Like, our family has been a staunch supporter. Good evening, iViper18. Welcome. So nice you could join us. Hope you're doing good this evening. How are your campaigns going? How are things? Let's see. So we finished this up. Now we can just go cut them off. And not lose people through attrition anymore. Randomly. That's nice. Let's catch them out. I just want to catch them. I got judged for your sleep schedule? Who judges someone for their sleep schedule? Except for employers. And parents. <laughs> oh, we caught an army just as it was forming. Oh, that's bad for him. Uh, do I want the weak favor on her? Yes. Absolutely. You are always there for me and I hope you know that I'm grateful. My dear Wood, yes, yes. Very grateful. Do you have money to give me? <laughs> oh, look at that. Little rebel faction. Led by this lady. Now, if you remember, I said I want them to attack us. Said 45 minutes of sleep a day isn't enough. How are you alive? Like, don't take this as judgment. I This is genuine worry about your health here. <laughs> Never back down. Friendly ca fatal casualties. Minus 20%. Advantage plus 5. Hello. Yes, thank you. We never back down. Cold showers. 
I listen, when I was much younger than I am today, and while I was still in university and studying, I had a similar thing. Like, what I did was I slept... Wait, can we even get money here? Yeah, 35. That's cool. I slept... Keep the body tip-top shape. Sure. So what I did was like I slept like three hours, awake for six, three hours, awake for six, and then another three hours or something like that it was. So I didn't necessarily sleep eight hours a day. Sometimes it was four to six, somewhere around there. That worked. But it only worked because I was a student. And I could have a weird sleep schedule like that. Where I was up like really weirdly. You can do it. It's, it's possible. And... I fully agree, humans are the only mammal out there, literally the only mammal alive. Oh god, we have to give away a lot of titles here. Let's get going on this. So, humans are the only mammal alive that sleeps once a day. And this is completely, f that's not good. Sleeping multiple times a day is much better, even for us. But 45 minutes, well... You must be very young that that is possible. I will just assume. Alrighty. Let's get our bloodline in here. On my normal days, I work from 7 till 5 p.m. And the second job is from 6 to 11. And the third job is minimum from 6 a.m. Okay, you're American? Another assumption on my end. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where? I was going to. Lebanese. Man. My worldview is so small sometimes. It's so small. It's tiny. It barely fits between my hands. <laughs> Why can't you sleep at work? Yep. That's a normal question to ask. All right. Our nephew, he can get something. Can have this. And this, let's give him two things. So, I believe we had a we had an issue with like how many vassals can we have still? We can have nineteen hundred forty, but this is a problem here. The tax jurisdictions. Let's assign some new taxpayers here. This guy and this guy and this guy and this guy. Oh, and that's it. Can't assign more. So we have a bunch of unassigned taxpayers. So let's make sure we give titles to people who are already a taxpayer. Let's try and make sure with that. The heck? What's... What's happening? What's happening in chat? You're in the news, Israel bombing people, that's us getting bombed. Ah! Give, give me a moment to catch up with chat. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bum. Okay, gee, what? You hear that the Yemen terrorist group has finally been put? Ah! Live happily because we're so used to <laughs> Where were they offered? They captured a ship and... Since the war is regular, they... Oh boy. Okay, people. Jesus. Alright. Okay. Listen, I Viper. I'm sorry. That must suck so hard. And I'm deeply impressed with you having three jobs, no sleep, and living in a near war zone. Or near enough war zone, if not a war zone. Like, keep safe there. Brother, keep safe, keep strong, okay? That's some crazy stuff right there. That's the magic of the internet. You know, me, little tiny worldview German boy is just learning all these kind of things here <laughs> in chat while we're trying to bolster our virtual country. Sorry for being political in chat, this is fine. We're not taking any sides here, but uh, yeah, I'm sorry you, you have to deal with all this. So who are you? You're, you're no one. You people are nobodies. Can I revoke your titles without being a, a tyrant? No, we cannot. 
right. Okay, so we need to give this stuff to more people here. So let's give it to more... Let's give it to his vassals. Does he have vassals? Yes. So we can make this guy a little bit stronger. So it's still his duchy that gets stronger. I kind of can't give him any of that. What is that? This is the Shadam of... No, that's somewhere here. I don't want to give that to him. Ah, man. Good idea. Immediately smashed by reality. <laughs> Didn't work out. I mean, we can just make him stronger. That's fine. Grand titles. He can have all this. And that puts us back to 4 out of 4. So he's a very strong vassal now. All good. All fine. Let's go after Vazaid. Ah, Vazaid. Vazifid, you mean these guys? I think we still have a truce with them. Oh no, truce is done. Okay, we can only go for this right now. Because we are in a, in a stability phase. We have to wait for the... For the intermezzo phase to switch. What's more important is taking back land from Haftun. This here. What they somehow took. But we are too weak right now to do any of that. So we're going to put our troops to... Uh... Actually, he's going to keep on the levy because we need to... We need to replenish here. Okay, so now we're in unrest. Alright, another challenge to the house head. Alright, sure. Who's fighting this? What What's going on here? You are not at war. What is this? Ah, that's... Oh, that's that's the Caliphate. That's the Caliphate. Alright. You're just winning your thing. So we could attack them. Question is, do we have the manpower? Answer is no, we do not. No, I don't think so. We will just not... I'm, no, I'm not giving up house head. Why would I ever give house head up? Like, if you're really weak and very lowly, I understand that maybe giving house head up can be sensible. But I just... I don't see it. Do not see it. Pay ransom? You pay to us 100 gold for this man to leave our prison. Yes, thank you. I will take that. I'll take that hundred gold instantly. How about attack the one person? The one person? Was it fit? Listen, I'm I'm scared at the moment. Naband? This guy? Nabandid? Same. Conquer Dachi. Could go holy war for, for kingdom. I think that was what we wanted to do anyway. I think that is what we wanted to do anyway. Like, he's alone with his religion. But again, we don't have the troops for this. And our mercenary contract is expiring. So we are even going to be weaker in a moment. We have to we have to wait a little bit. I think we're old enough. We still have a little bit of life ahead of us. We should be fine. We should be fine. So we got some... Uh, rough gemstones. Studying stewardship. What's going on here? Alman is in need some of guidance. I don't care. We'll just click something. So we got some rough gemstone and a mysterious puzzle. Learning per stress level plus two. <laughs> uh, that's a funny one. But I think we're going to equip these. This is a little bit more of a direct bonus. And we're going to destroy the mysterious puzzle. Or... Can we reforge this? No, we can only repair it. Because we don't have an antiquarian. Let's get an antiquarian in here. Someone who isn't super young and will... Or super old and will die immediately. Can we now reforge this? No, we cannot. <laughs> Let's give the game a moment to catch up with the reality of things. Can I reforge this now, please? No. Okay. So I think we're going to destroy that because... It's funny, but it doesn't help us. And money helps us much more. Are we the culture head? Yes, we are the culture head. Stazioni the troop. Yes, you're right. Thank you. What would I do without chat? Let's be honest. If I played this game alone now, 
I would be completely without the crutch of chat. And, and I would just constantly lose everything. So we need very strong pike. Because we're constantly facing things that are very, very powerful horses. We need pikes. So we're going to put them in Baghdad. That's where they're best. Next. The archers are generally really good. So these are going to be the next best. So either there or there. It's fine. Uh, next we want our Onaga somewhere. Doesn't matter. So before we place these, we're going to put these in whatever is better for them, which is over here. And then we can put the Onaga in what's left because it didn't matter if we put them left or right. Thank you. So we took care of this. Size is all done. Like This is our main problem here. Getting these guys to fill back up. That's, that's really where we're lacking around. We're not going to... I don't think we're going to extend the contract. I don't think that's sensible for us. We could increase this for 250 gold. Give us some more money and some development growth. Development growth is big, honestly. Extra 5%. That'll do some stuff for us. But we're building a castle which is going to be done soon, so... Maybe we do that instead. And we do that instead, I think. So, guys, let me ask you this. Pal World, have you heard about it? What do you think about it? Or is that completely out your wheelhouse? Because that's just not something you care about. So, do we have any other borders I need to worry about? Not really. I found a holy order. Promote Persian scriptures. 500 gold and 250 piety. Oh! Every Iranian heritage country gets a 33% chance of Persian resurgence for 50 years. That's not bad, but it's also not great. Great translator. Nah. That's a lot of money for very little. I'm assuming this is an achievement. But... This might anger your head of faith. It doesn't really jive with what we're doing here. Does it? A knight's declaration. As I pace towards my throne I over here, my Aswar Aiden proclaiming something to my wife. Oh, how such a beautiful countenance gleams, so perfectly pure, come apart at the seams. The mere thought of a smile brings one to my face, all worries and woes and anguish gone without a trace. Is he reciting poetry to my wife? A courtly love. Let that wonderful poetry echo through the halls. We're gonna go with that, because we are not jealous. We are not... Uh, Pokemon plus Arcus guns, exactly. <laughs> Personally, I'm quite enjoying it. Uh, there's also... Let's divorce our wife. <laughs> it's a little bit... It's a little bit uh, like Reddit uh, relationship advice here. <laughs> wife, here's a poem. Let's divorce her. <laughs> okay, Captain Kubad. She's being unfaithful. She heard a poem! How is that unfaithful? Okay, let's see. Who can we grant to whom? I don't want to grant you anything. You can go away. I can grant you a proper vassal. I'll do that. I don't care about it. Helps us reduce our tax burden as well. That might give us another slot. Actually, yes. Very good. So we can get some of these unassigned in here. Oh, we don't have any unassigned right now. That's, that's nice. That's neat. That worked out in our favor here. Very good. Very good. Very good. My boys doing their work. Okay, what's our control? What's going on at home? So our control is still not super great. Oh boy. In some of these it's absolutely horrendous. So this is a little bit better. Let's go work on some control some more. This is just... Wait, is that the good one? I don't know. I'll put him here. No, 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 no. We put him here. That's the best one. There. Yeah, yeah. Increase control over there. Let's hold court. In the eyes of the Islam, that is unfaithful. Hearing a poem? 
I mean, I know Islam is a little bit more strict on these things than Christian or other regions, but really? A poem? I don't think so. Weapon span in city. We need control growth. We'll just take it. I don't care. Weapons banned. Done. Servant of Allah. It seems my nephew Vali Zand has been nursing a temper while awaiting my audience. My lord, I cannot abide your tolerance of heretics like Vali Karen in the realm, even amidst the nobility. Allah made us demands on us plain. Dailam should be a land of the faithful. Out with these imami dogs. You're right. Vali Karen must convert. Okay. It's a lot of opinion loss. He might not. By Allah, I now see the truth. We convert to imamism. Oh no. I judge a man by their quality, not by their beliefs. All faith are welcome in the Grand Emirate. And that poem is too saucy. Depends on how saucy the poem is. <laughs> yeah, you, you got me there. It's true. I think we're going to go with uh, Vali Karen must convert. Let's go. And he refuses. Now we can imprison him. Are you a man of my family? You are. Why? Let's demand conversion. 100% success chance. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, Flatchin told my former house at me, blah, blah, blah. Uh, is this someone we care about? Is someone in my family? And a sultanate in Egypt. I don't care. Are you good at anything? Are you sensible? Do I need you? And not really. Well, you're a, you're a halfway decent knight. He will not be my cup bearer. He can join the court and be a knight. Someone gets the nickname footstool. Oh, he he becomes a footstool. Okay, that sounds really, really horrible. Let's go with that. Where is my footstool? I demand to see my footstool in court. Ah, <laughs> oh, boy. Found holy order. I don't want to do any of these. There's a lot of money for us to be had. Can ransom this guy for 100 gold. Who is paying 100 gold? I don't care. We'll take it. We have too few of these guys. Fight. 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 Okay, we're good. Everyone's being forced. All good. Yeah, he himself is paying. How he has 100 gold, I couldn't tell you. We got a successor for an accolade for once. That's great. Look at all that money lying around here. It just costs us... Stress and unity. Because I can't actually get money out of anyone who isn't part of our family. Okay, let's take care of some of that stress there. Let's flagellate. Hurt ourselves a little bit. Sweet, sweet pain. We might be wounded, but that will go away. I'm just going to go through our family pockets and just <laughs> hold open our hand. Hey, come on now, help us. Alrighty. So our strength is slowly back up to where it should be. Let's see how things are over here. Blessed be Allah. He has converted. Very good. So this is... <sighs> this could go really wrong for us. And it's the Kingdom of Persia. But it's not created yet, so... That shouldn't be a problem. Why not Holy War? It doesn't matter. We don't get the title. It doesn't exist yet. We only seize everything that's part of it. I mean, 
We can we can sweep this immediately. We c otherwise okay we could yeah we could take the duchy. We could just take the big duchy here. That's true. You're right. We don't need to holy war that. Now you're you're quite correct. Um, we are a kingdom, but okay. Let's talk this through again. Since the title doesn't exist and we do not have confederate partition, it doesn't matter. It's not going to be created, neither through the Holy War nor through holding the title and then succession happening. Um, so that's fine. We, we can actually do this without splintering our, our kingdom. Within the target title, all titles held by these rulers are seized. That's what it does. So it doesn't give us a title. If this title existed, then we would be in trouble. But it does not. So... So this is a... Uh, let's see. Can't we do something? Can't we? Don't we have anything left? Our son and marshal. Why is our son and marshal not married? Wait a moment. Can we get the Khazars? Is that possible? No, it isn't. <laughs> Why is our son and marshal not... What is happening here? Where is our son and marshal? You. Oh, more wives. Oh my god, they have sex. Oh no. Oh goodness me. Oh darn. <laughs> oh no. Look at what we have laid on the table. Ah! Oh! 4,000. Oh, good. They can have multiple wives. No. The shame we can get the Abbasid Empire in here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the pain. Oh, my God. God, what did I do? Or rather, what didn't I do? I was still in feudal head. Still worried. <sighs> oh, look at all those alliances rolling in. It's, it's because once they are of age, you can do this. When they are not of age, you can have only one betrothal. But once they're of age, then you can get all these in there. Oh my God. Azerbaijan, that's internally. It wouldn't hurt, though. It's a little melancholic. But there's a good one here. Oh, my God. Okay, let's... let's. What do you mean I didn't know about this? I knew about it. I just didn't think of it. <laughs> I forgot, okay? I'm trying my best here. And I understand that often isn't good enough. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. Let's get those alliances negotiated at home, shall we? Where we can, anyway. Now let's see how much prestige we got. We got barely enough. We, we got enough, for sure. We got enough. So now we have a little bit more military strength overall. Just a wee bit more. And we're going to do this one here. We're going to do it. 390 because it costs us piety instead of prestige, which is good. So now we have more prestige to bring in some allies. So let's see. Where's the Abbasid? Oh, they haven't joined yet. Where are you? Where do you live? Oh, you live up there? Meh. I'll take it. Where do you live? You also live up there. But you're not gonna come either. Are you a little bit closer? Yeah, you are. So the half tunes? Are now our neighbors and allies. Okay, we should probably raise our troops. <laughs> 
Should probably do that. Let's raise them here. My boy. Could we get an alliance with these guys? Maybe? Nope. Didn't we not have something with the Caliph? Did I not see something like that? Huh. Okay, our troops are being raised. Let's see. Practice manipulative tactics. Defend advantage plus five. We don't need that. Retreat losses. Friendly fatal casualties. Um, hmm. I think we're going to take this one because it gives us martial lifestyle. But 6% chance goes wrong. I'll trick my enemies into overextending. Let's try. Let's see what comes out of it. Nope. Didn't work. Ah, well. What can you do? Where are your allies, though? Like, who is supporting you? These guys over there. Okay. And first things first, we're going to try and defend ourselves once our armies are raised. And we're going to personally lead. Masha Abbasid is no longer our ward. She gains charismatic negotiator. Let's get her back into our court. So we have an Abbasid girl at court. <laughs> okay, so we're over the main limit again because our... Oh, it's the orange guy. I don't think they joined. Um, yeah, they didn't join. All right, let's get to no organizing our army because we're losing a bit of money right there. And I would like to lose less. Our our keep was built. And we're working hard on unlocking that thing. The gavel kind thing. So we're allowed to keep it. Three years. Okay, we have to keep it three years. And we are, once again, a master of our craft here. Of warfare. 41 commander advantage. Let's see what he has. I would like to see this army, please. Thank you. Where are you going, my buddy? My friend. I don't like this. Inspiration. Let's see. I want to do a weapon. But we have one, so it doesn't matter. I have a good one. I don't care. Okay, I think we're just stop running after them and we're just gonna go sit and siege this one because we do need to start doing something his allies are gonna come somewhere from here that's fine so we're just gonna start siege this it's okay our siege craft is fairly quick and we're well supplied, so I don't mind this. He might be running around here trying to siege our stuff. Doesn't matter too much. So, <laughs> clan power, alliances, alliances, alliances. Friends. You need friends down here. Our culture has discovered crop rotation. Lovely. Demand submission. Okay. We've had this before. Uh, you must cede all earthly authority to me in the name of the giver of peace. So this doesn't mean anything. He just gets a strong hook on us. Which 
didn't help his predecessor much because he died before he ever made use of it. Okay, our, our enemy's ally has arrived now. So let's start building up our new keep, shall we? And we don't have battlements yet, so let's think about what we want here. We definitely want something that increases pike. So spearmen, so we barracks maybe. Gives us more levies as well. We definitely need something that gives us money too. But I think... I think barracks and maybe a trade port. That might just be the trick. Do the trick. Or barracks and regimental grounds. And then we put our spear there. I think that's that's a solid solid thing to uh, get to. Number of knights, plus four. Yes, thank you very much. And now let's make sure that we, uh, we already have that. We don't have them in the field, though. So we would have to raise another army somewhere where the knights can be part of. Okay, let's go. Let's go fetch. Catch out the enemy's ally. Maybe we can cut them off from each other. Let's speed this along a little bit. Because movement out here in the desert mountains is a little bit ponderous. Okay. Let's see. I emphasize over shared interests. 90% chance it works. 50 opinion of us. Let's go. Take it. Uh, so this is an even battle. I don't quite know why. I think it's just mainly the troops, really. Must politely decline. Okay, you're sending... You're sending us Mizar. Ah, oh, he's actually a really good commander. Not that we need commanders. But that's okay. Okay, so we've beaten the enemy's allies. So let's go beat the enemy proper. They might be leading their own troops as well. And they're running away again. Uh, but they... I don't think they're going to get away. Managed to reach them in time. So that's another proper defeat for them. Let's go take more land. And we're going to work ourselves toward the capital of the enemy here. It's going to siege through there. Got an arranged marriage going on here. Sure, we'll take it. Absolutely have it. I wanted this to never be popped up again. Yeah, he's also a good marshal. That's true. It's a very, very big truth here. Okay, our ally is immediately doing that. You want me to join a war as a defender? Sure, sure, sure. I might even, sh I might even show up once this is done. I should give him some land and marry him off. Why would I give him land? What, what land has he deserved? He hasn't done nothing for us. Why land? Let me find our courtiers. <laughs> so all the guests I don't care about. Let's check that everyone here has someone they can love and cherish and hold and grow old with. I think that's the new guy. Mm. Ooh, 90%. How's Bavan did how's unity you change by plus eight? Nice. Time to let this go for the betterment of everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll take that for sure. Let's settle that clan quarrel. We managed because we're amazing. Okay, let's give him someone with a lot of machshal and young enough to still get children. There is medium chance of kids. Very good. So that was the guy, I think. Let's betroth our grandson. No, not our grand, not our grandkids. Not our grandkids. Never our grandkids. We need those later on succession to make new alliances. Oh, hello. Matrilineal. Let's bring in some more proper good soldiers. And we're going to take the young ones. The young-ish ones. So his gladness doesn't matter to me. Let's bring him in. Uh, a courtier. 
I don't care about you or your happiness. <laughs> Just gonna bring in the one with the sum of all skills and we're gonna take one that... I, how old are you? 12. So this lady here is beautiful, but that doesn't help. Let's give her a little bit of a age difference closer. Let's say five years. Let's look for traits, of course. But that narrows it down so hard. It's really not great. Like, look at this. Alright, so... Don't matter, really. Let's get some intelligence in this court here. And a 10-year-old. These are all too old. Or my grandchildren. I'm not giving them my grandchildren. There's someone here. That's good enough. Let's see who else we find. And I think I'll leave the grandson out. Let's click through all those acceptance letters and thanks. Everyone was happy with my choices. Oh, they're actually quite close to us. We might actually really do help them. That's interesting. Huh. All right, that was 23 gold right there, right for us. Question is, will all of our allies immediately move again? Oh, hey, no, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. We get a secret cannibal. We can weather this. Starved for five years. This is what killed our father. Malnutrition killed our father. Do we become a secret cannibal? I think we become a secret cannibal. Yeah. Twitch chat agrees. <laughs> oh, no, we become infirm. Oh, no. Oh, boy. How did we get infirm? Ah, at 51 years of age. These rulers do not get old. And now we are no longer that picture of... Oh, I am so annoyed by this right now. I hate running after the enemy. I hate it so much. But we caught them out. So half the enemy army fights us alone. Sucks to be you. Listen, I'm trying to join your wars, but I have my own wars to fight right now. I'm so sorry. It's funny that even as an infirm ruler, we're still the best leader we have. <laughs> It's just being carried around on a stretcher into battle. Okay, let's go siege the capital down. Maybe we can end this. It's for sure a little bit annoying, I must say. Very good. Someone is just happy about being my vassal. As well they should be. I am a fantastic leader and ruler. Our son got typhus. Happens? Please stay with me. Yes. We gain a caring friend for two years, which is a nice little medium health boost. Let's see when and if we die. Oh, great. We're down to three things that we're allowed to have because we are infirm. So that's no good. Little Gulnaz. Ah, oh, very good. There it goes. Let's finish this up. And let's move over here and try and help. There's a hostile army coming. And we absolutely need to work on all this. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ah, goodness dear me. Let's check on the duchy titles here because we might just have to create the duchy of Persia. 
to make it a little bit easier on us. So the Duchy of Fars will create. Costs us some money, for sure. But I'm not willing to deal with this on an individual basis. So let's see. Which one of our children and grand... Oh, look at him. Let's uh, so the Sassanid. The cousin here is robust, but he profligates. Mm. Should we give it to a grandson? He is robust and handsome. I think the robust and handsome one, the grandson. Grandson, it is. Yeah, Chad agrees. Soka agrees. So we're just gonna give him the whole thing. Like, I don't even care. We're just going to give him the whole thing here. All of that. All of that, yours, instant. You just get this. Let's go, my boy. And this thing here... Wait a moment. Where's that title? This thing here, it belongs to the Duchy of Isfan. So we'll just randomly give this to someone, our cousin or something. That doesn't matter. Let's get that alliance negotiated. Let's get this alliance negotiated. Okay, very good. Marvelous news. Now we need to take the Vasifid to join up our realm. And honestly, let's have a... Our son has recovered from Typhus, by the way. Let's check what we need for creating the Persian Empire here. So, 114 of the de jure counties. Wait a moment. That's a lot. We have a lot ahead of us to do. I thought we were dealing, being already pretty powerful there, but apparently not so much. All right, I think we'll leave it here for the YouTube crowd. Yeah, 1,000 gold it costs as well. But I think if we have that size, I think 1,000 gold is not going to be much of a problem. You dare create a faction against me? What faction? What, 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 what? Typhus Camp Fever. We gain Typhus. Um, don't worry, my lord. Typhus is treatable. Do no more than what is necessary. Death death is coming for us. And he managed to reduce the symptoms. So death is gone again. We got a huge boost. A huge boost. Okay, okay, okay. I wanted to finish this for the YouTube crowd. If you're watching over on YouTube, thank you very much. Leave a like, subscribe. Join us on the next one. If you're watching over on Twitch, with if you're doing it on YouTube, you should also check out the Twitch. Come over, join us in the chats in the evenings. And I'm going to be done for the YouTube here. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you on the next one. Until then, bye-bye YouTube.